Are you writing tests but drowning in helper methods? Helper methods make it easier to create test data, but they can get difficult to read over time as requirements change. Here's an example. You start with one simple helper, new company public, but then you need to add employees, board members, maybe a bankruptcy date. Soon it's a Frankenstein and the method calls become hard to read due to the long parameter lists. You end up with null refs, confusing params piling up and a new method for every edge case. Yikes. Here's a way out. Use the test data builder pattern to create a helper method that creates a partially built object. Instead of passing a dozen params, start with sane defaults and only set what matters. Initializing logically required fields to reasonable defaults means each test can specify only fields relevant to the case being tested. It's cleaner, shorter, easier to read, no conditionals, and no null gymnastics. And one more pro tip, always set the fields that are relevant to the test explicitly and avoid asserting against helper defaults to keep from forcing readers to understand helper behavior.